highlights have established, obviously, Thieves, Av is back. Is this a derivative of almost sack attack? You have 15 over the last three games. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, it works hand in hand. I really do. I think when you go back and you look at some of the things that we've done and where some of the improvements have, have gone, uh, there was a nice article about, uh, was it uh, BC and AC? And, and when you do look at the things that were after Chicago, the, the guys have stepped up and done the things that we needed to do, and that's probably the biggest thing. We've gotten pressure on the quarterback. We've tightened some of the coverage things up. We continue to bring pressure off the edge. Um, the thing that was probably most disappointing today, especially on the defensive side, and I know Coach Wilkes feels that way, is, uh, is their third down conversion was way too high. We missed some opportunities to get off the field early, and we gave up a couple of big plays over the top, which we cannot do, especially going forward. What did Demir Bird and the special teams unit in general do for you guys today? Saved us. Um, there were some things that we didn't do very well as an offense or defense, and, and, and until the very end when we had to, um, that's you know one of the things at least I'm pleased is when, when we needed to make a stop, we needed to knock them back, we did. Uh, and then when we had to drive the ball all the way down, uh, we did. And, and that's huge. We gave ourselves a chance to win the game. I know yeah. you heard his knee. Do you have an update on his status? The only thing I know um, is, is that, uh, is that um, he, he tweaked something on the outside. That's all I know. Ron, what, what was your understanding of the hold on Peppers in the end zone and the subsequent? Okay. My understanding is that is that a personal foul, dead dead ball foul, still goes back. I guess um, I, I don't, I'm not sure to be honest with you. I thought you get the safety and then they tack on the 15 yards when they have to kick. To but it was your understanding that that, that the penalty on Star happened after? After, the, after yes, that was, was my understanding. Was that it happened a, as a dead ball, but they said it still offsets. That's what I was told. Ron, how were you able to get the defense to calm down a little bit but still be aggressive after the two back-to-back PI -back calls? Um, well, we really didn't. I, Coach Wilkes just continued to call the calls he, he was making. I mean, you know, you just got to continue to be aggressive, um, which he did. And, um, you know, I, I, I just think these guys are going to, uh, you know, if they're going to play, they got to play fearless. And I thought that's what they did. You know, again, you know, those are tough calls. The referees are doing the best they can in those situations. You know, there's a lot of pushing and shoving that's going out there, and, and unfortunately, you know, there's, you know, that's what happens. Ron, what were you disappointed uh, with offensively, and did Devin do something to tweak that shoulder? No, no, we, 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 we knew this was going to be a physical game. We wanted it to be a physical game. Um, probably the, the, the biggest disappointment I have was, was kicking field goals in the red zone. I mean, give them credit, but we missed some opportunities. We missed some blocks. There's some blocks that were missed, not just by the line, but by the, by the backs, by the receivers, by the tight ends. I mean, there's a lot of things that we can correct, that we will correct. But again, I want to give credit to Tampa Bay. They, they came in and didn't roll over. You know, Dirk Cutter brought this team in ready to play football, and they did. Ron, to, to win a game like this when you don't have your best stuff at this time of year, I mean, what, what can that do for this team heading into the postseason? Well, I think what it can do is it can make us realize that, you know, we got to be at our best, especially this time of year going forward. You know, we got a big game coming up on next uh, Sunday. You know, uh, again, I, I, you know, my understanding is, you know, um, New Orleans won, I guess. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure what's, what, what that means, but all I know is we got to go into Atlanta and, and play a good Atlanta team. What did you guys want to do offensively? What, what, what did Mike have in mind today? Is it for, like you said, for, uh, you weren't doing a great job finishing the retreat. Well, I'd like to see us, you know, block a little bit better when we ran the ball and catch the ball and throw the ball a little bit better when we threw it. I mean, you know, Joe, it's, I mean, it's just the little things that, that, that we didn't do very well. You know, um, could we have called something different? Maybe, um, probably. But again, we've got to make sure we're putting them in position to win. And then if we are, you know, are we having the success and are we executing? So those are things that we'll look at. We'll get a chance to watch the tape and, you know, decide if we were doing the things we needed to to give ourselves a chance to win that game. They think you don't know, mistake punt. <clears throat> exactly that. You know, I mean, <laughs> I told Mike, you know, you, 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 you can only lob it if he's wide open. And unfortunately, Mike didn't see the DB that was right behind Ed. Uh, thank goodness he hit Ed a little early before the ball got there. Um, but the, the thinking was to get the first down, create a little momentum, and go in and score. Um, that's what the thinking was. I thought we needed a shot in the arm. I thought it was the way the defense was playing in the red zone, you know, forcing them to kick field goals, that if they did get back down to the red zone, you know, that we'd be able to hold. Ron, that just could you take <coughs> us through that final drive a little bit? I Bird wasn't out there. Like right. I said, Devin wasn't being terribly effective, but Cam found a way to get it down the field. Well, I mean, again, what happened on that, when you looked at some of the things they were doing, they were trying to take Greg out. You know, they were, they were jamming Greg up all over the place, pretty much, you know, all the way downfield. They had somebody on him. Um, they looked like they were doubling up or slicing towards, towards Devin, you know, rolling somebody extra over there over the top. 
Um, so, you know, they were trying to take out our, our, our two most effectives, and, and fortunate enough, you know, they let Burse and, and, and Kalen uh, open to give them opportunities to make plays. And they came up big at the right time for us, and, you know, Cam came up big for us, you know, finding the, out, finding the guys open downfield. That final play, not exactly how you draw it up, but I guess it counts. Right? Well, I thought the idea was to put it on the ground, get them to freeze for a second, pick it up, and score. I'll tell you when I saw that, you know. But the best part is it didn't ruin my Christmas, which I really do appreciate. Come on, Bird getting the start today. Of course, last week he had the big game. What, I mean, just, just everything that he's been able to do these last couple of years, making an impact in practice squad up to now, uh, you know, how, how proud are you? Of I'm very proud of a, a young man like that who, who came in and, and was a practice squad guy, was basically a free agent, undrafted free agent, and all he's done is just work hard, and he deserves the opportunity. That's why I hope this is, you know, nothing serious. Um, you know, he's, he's the kind of young man you want around here. He's, 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 he's sharp, he's smart, he works hard. He's a young man who's, who's, who's a pro, and, and that's, I think, probably uh, one of the best words to describe him is he is a young pro. And the other guys in the locker room, whenever he does something explosive or adds a spark, the other guys are not just happy for the spark itself, but for him as a human being, it seems. Without a doubt. Again, as I said, he, he's, he's one of those kind of guys you cheer for. Were you expecting this game to be this close? Um, honestly, yes. Uh, I, I talked to our guys about it on, 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 on Wednesday. If you had watched the Monday night game and saw the way that they came out and played Atlanta, um, that tells you something. They always play us well. They always play us well here. And, uh, you know, as I said, I thought Dirk Cutter did a great job getting his guys ready to play. They came here and they played a very emotional and physical football game. We were fortunate to come out on top. Ron, did you have your eye on the out-of-town scoreboard at all? And, yes. And can you just talk about being in this position going into well, the center? It's an interesting position because, again, you know, obviously, if, if if we win, and depending on what happens to some other people, we can, you know, we can knock somebody out. If we win and something crazy happens with New Orleans, um, you know, I, I think we win the division. So there's still a chance. There's still hope. Sometimes that's all you need. Cool. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.